Dante Barksdale killed January 2021. Kenyell Wilson shot and killed July 2021. January 2022, Deshaun McGreer killed. All three Safe Streets workers, violence interrupters dedicated to stopping gun violence and all killed on the job. It's quite shocking and disturbing that, you know, violence interrupters who are out there engaging in the community to disrupt the cycle of violence end up being victims of it. Joseph Richardson, a professor at the University of Maryland, is starting a study of three Safe Streets locations on the west side. The study comes as there are serious questions raised about how effective Safe Streets really is. We are where we are right now. I mean, there's, there's no way that I think we can just put, pump the brakes on it, but we do need to understand it. In October, Fox 45 News did an analysis of the location scattered across the city run by a patchwork of community organizations. The data inconclusive to prove success for Safe Streets at eight of the longest serving locations. Half saw an increase in shootings from 2016 to 2020. Half saw a decrease. Homicides less clear. Three decreasing, four increasing, and one seeing no change at all. If violence isn't being stopped, this program has to be questioned. Sean Kennedy from the Maryland Public Policy Institute says the program needs to prove it is effective before getting more money. But right now, that's not happening. Mayor Brandon Scott poised to give about $20 million to programs like Safe Streets. Safe Streets! Now. Utilizing part of the $641 million in federal COVID money coming to Baltimore. Accountability about how and where that money will be spent remains in question, making it difficult to track taxpayer dollars. When you get to see detail of this information, people will find out how much of the money is going towards administrative costs. We may never see how much money is going towards administrative costs rather than getting to the people that need it. Meantime, leaders continue to tout the effectiveness of safe streets, despite the data just not being there to prove that it is working. If they can prove that if they make necessary changes, they will save lives, I'm all for funding as much as they need to stop the violence in Baltimore. City council members facing questions from us today asking, why is Baltimore doubling down on a violence prevention program, especially when the effectiveness is being evaluated? Should the program be paused until after the evaluations are completed? Questions going ignored by the people who have been asking to participate in more accountability when it comes to how the city will spend this influx of one-time federal money. Now, the Safe Street program is planning expansions going from 10 locations to potentially 20 all while studies are underway to find out what's working and what's not